do it live. <laughs> First live of 2023. Yes, sir. Gonna get at it. How's it How's going? It going? People in there late for their own party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how that's how it goes. I, I remember I was late for my 16th, my sweet 16. Yeah, I was late for that, but you know, Shoot. I was out partying, doing yeah. some early partying, driving around in my Camaro, my Ooh. bitch of Camaro. Yeah, yep. I remember nice. that. So, how do you feel? Uh, tired actually. I, I just feel tired. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't know why today it hit me especially hard just being tired after all the. I mean, the schedule is just like interrupted. Yeah. And um, yeah. So. We were backwards. My whole family was backwards on sleep schedule and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, it was weird because it's like backwards. Oh, Bang. there you go. There Everyone go. was talking about, you know, first day back. And I was like, wait a minute. I worked last week. It's not my first day back. Like, right. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. But you probably feel even more tired because you're getting old. Yeah. Today's your birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was older. It was funny. I was sitting around and I don't know why it is. And I've lost it again. Um, Harry Chrysler. <laughs> but seriously, like I, do you have something that you lose like every week and every time you go to look for it, it's never there. It drives me your tools. <laughs> yeah. I've opened so many of them now and now uh, I find them. This stupid thing. Oh, for your, yeah. You know what's funny too? I have Velcro on it and it Velcros to my, my overhead and it drives me crazy because 90% of the time I never put it back and it's the same color as my pit mat. So like I can never, it's just there and you can't see it. I literally, yeah, before I logged in, I was like looking for it for like 10 minutes and then I realized it was underneath the GoPro mounts that I was working on <laughs> adam tedman says he just got 18 inches of snow wow that'll make you tired right there no joke where is that no joke i'm guessing out west maybe maybe canada yeah <laughs> they always get 18 inches of snow up there uh, at least no. that's how i see it in my mind yeah but um yeah <clears throat> oh minnesota southern uh saturn five says uh minnesota here and another snowstorm dang we're supposed to i think get more snow coming up here we we have a warm spell. We had a really warm couple days here. Yeah. We might be breaking records even, but um, yeah, uh, it was rainy. That was the only bummer today. So I didn't get out in RC at, at all. I picked up an RC. Oh, nice. But I didn't RC. Nice. So I yeah. got something I've been wanting. We'll be, we'll, uh, we'll touch back on the warmth in a little bit. Like, I guess, why don't we try this? Why don't we tell people what we plan on talking about? And then sure. We'll, and then we'll talk about it. So on the show notes today, I have, it's your birthday. What do you always forget? Because you're old. What's new for us? Trail fails, pulling, racing, and giveaway stuff. Okay. And I'll, and I'll talk about the warmth issue on my trail fail. <laughs> so later oh, down no. the road. It, it wasn't, it, it was not pleasant. It wasn't terrible. Oh, no. It just wasn't pleasant. So it's a little tough, but people are saying good evening. Northern AZ just dumped 10 inches from Sunday night to today. Wow. Northern AZ. Dang. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, Joey Lubin says new here. How you guys doing? Love the Mariners hat. Thank you. He's a Seattle it's a guy. Hippie bath day. I like it. A hippie <laughs> bath day. <laughs> You know, typo. Might as well do that. Oh, yeah, I think that was intentionally typo. <laughs> yeah, for the rain. So, sure. what's new? What'd you pick up? What's new? Oh, I got. Well, it's new. I, I let might me guess. Something already. small. I got something small <laughs> in here. Shocking, Tony. And uh, I haven't actually opened it yet. I just came home with it. There with the box, but oh yeah, so we kind of crunched a little, but it's all good. I got the white one, nice. And I'm curious if it came with stickers, and it does have the USA one decals. Nice, nice. I like it. So yeah, I was. I've been wanting that, and I've been waiting for Jeff to get him in. Yeah. And uh, 
he finally got him in. So I ran there on my birthday nice. to do that. Black and Market also, said there are water slides. Ooh. I, what are water slides? Oh, those stickers. Yes, I'm not doing any of those stickers actually. But <laughs> I was just curious if it came with them. I will sell them to somebody that wants them. Yeah. Ooh. I got this. Now it's a little. Uh, it's, is that is that, that your color. caboodle? Is that is that for your makeup for your it's show? It's called um, Creative <laughs> Options, and I think that they show like storing beads in it. Ah. But for my SMT10, I stored all my stuff in something yeah. like this. But it was a like hundred dollar sure flambeau, or you know, I didn't pay that much for it. I didn't realize how much the cases cost at the time. <laughs> I bought it off my buddy Josh Sanford, completely full and organized of uh -huh. SMT10 parts. I won't say the price because it was too good. Yeah. But what I liked about this one when we were at Sam's Club, so if you're looking for something for your mini RCs, is that these are actually bigger openings than a Ooh. lot of them. They're a lot wider. So I That's can score cool. like tires and stuff in them. And they're tall too. So they're not like short like the fishing one, a lot of the fishing ones. Yeah, yeah. So in this, you do have a short one up top. You could put screws or drive shafts or whatever in here. <clears throat> um, but anyway, it was 25 bucks. Nice. That's all I paid for it. Um, and it's got, if you wanted, you could carry your radio or something up in the top here. It's pretty deep. You could probably put a car. You can definitely put some cars in it. That's what she said. So you could, you could put two. <laughs> no, you couldn't. You could put one car in, in a radio. Nice. So nice. I don't plan to put a car up there. Yeah. You're like, that's where my sandwich goes. That's, yeah. <laughs> it's in here. I'm probably going to put another bin that'll actually have screws and stuff in it, like smaller ones. Yeah. In here. Um, Toolkit, all that kind of stuff. So I can just pick it up and go. Right. That's cool. But, yeah. I mean, I'll sticker it up to make it look less bead carrying so maybe i'll leave it looking like this so people want to feel it yeah I, i'm debating what to do because we're gonna eventually get to the point i mean i don't know we're i have a roll like a cheaper rolling toolbox kind of thing you know like the, one of those stanley yeah. ones it's not a stack away but it's something yeah smaller and i got it because when i was doing a lot of art teaching at the school I'd throw all the paints at the bottom and put paintbrushes in the, the, the divided one and all that kind of stuff. And just art supplies would be like my rolling art kit. And I don't do that as much anymore. So I was like, maybe I'll make that into my pit kit. But the problem is the stickers. Like I have plenty of stickers, but I don't think I have enough to like make it that cool. And, yeah. and I don't know that it's tough enough to take around with me that like that, you know, whatever it's called. The that. plastic. Yeah, but it's nice. It's a Stanley brand one. I okay. mean, it's it's good. It's just I I worry that it's not tough enough for what I need it to be. And I don't really want to carry that much stuff to the track. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. I could just get away with carrying just my little pull, my little box. Is it a like, lunchbox one? No. Like it's small. It's like 24 inches, 30 inches tall. And it's got the two, it's got like a toolbox on top and then like a Middle oh, box cool. and then like a big box down below. Oh, so, they pull out or no? They they come apart. It's kind of like a oh, okay. it's kind of yeah. like a stack yeah. away. It's yeah. kind of, yeah. yeah. It's just not as nice as like my work ones are like legit. Like I could throw them wherever I want and then it won't open and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So your yeah, cat's close, like, up, close ups of the cat eye. I don't know, right? He's like, hey, what's He's in there? <laughs> gonna turn the camera a second when he starts doing the like face thing on the yeah. arm of it here it's gonna start rocking but um yeah so that's it and then i got the um the prusa came in the mail today so it, ah, another one present. nice yeah. nice so, speaking of 3d printing i came in second on a 3d I printing saw that. yeah i don't think oh. i i never showed you that what I was working the on. The sleigh I saw, yeah. I saw you working on that. Was oh, that I didn't. Incident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. You didn't so. show us, like everybody. You showed oh, me. Oh, yeah. I should have grabbed it. It's upstairs in a cabinet, but okay. on display. So what there. was the contest? 
It was a, uh, you know, a I don't know if they titled it Christmas or holiday printing contest, but it was just creating something of the season, right? Yeah. And so with the th with the filament, and first place won five rolls, second place won four rolls, okay. third place. And this yeah, is the so place so. that you sent me the rolls that you like. Yeah. The filament. Yep. I was actually going to talk to them after tonight. So there's the logistic things now because I'm doing Instagram different. Maybe we'll touch on that in a little bit. Oh yeah, but, that was pretty funny. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna see about reaching out to them and see if they can send me an extra roll that I can give away here, or maybe I'll just give away one of the rolls they send me. But um, that way you guys can try it because I'm a huge fan of it. Like all my bodies are printed with this material. I've been exclusive. Is it only the gray that you like, or. So I know that certain colors end up turning out, they work different. Yeah, well, light, so typically in 3D printing, lighter colors have better adhesion than okay. darker colors do because the melting point is less. I don't know. I mean, that could be a myth. Um, I seem to think that they flow out a little bit better also. But for some reason, that space gray is like, that color is awesome. And it just, it, prints really well if i really want to do a really nice print it prints really well um that's pretty Has cool the flex in it too like a little bit of sparkle in it yeah yep okay, just yeah. a little bit yep um but they have all different the glitter so it'll look really good if you get one of these teal cases <laughs> yeah it'll go printing stuff in. it'll go right along with it yeah, yeah. With your glitter prints yep yep <laughs> now they have like white and blue and yellow green but they're like lego colors you know yeah what i mean they're not like a nice hue of anything. So I think I'm going to ask for four rolls of the space gray and one roll, roll of white. Um, I don't, black is cool, but it's like black or space gray. I'll use space gray. Yeah. And if I do anything, I'll just paint it. If I do anything that I need to do paint with, but right, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, it'd be cool if I could give away a roll or two on the show. That's, I mean, I, I've been using it exclusively for at least a year now. What's the and brand again? VO, VO3D. VO3D. Yeah, so the website's VO3D.us. Okay. Um, I, don't I have know. some of it sitting right over here. Can I, can I add that to there? I don't know. I'll add it later. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, like a, it's a... So the cat doesn't step on it. Otherwise, <laughs> I would add it. Okay, so... What do I do? Just type it in www.vo3d.us. So that's the, it's awesome stuff. It's so basically what it is, it's, it's a high impact PLA is what they call it. And okay. I've used it on all my 3D bodies that I've printed and seems pretty strong. I mean, I've broken some. I mean, it's not indestructible, but it's done really well. So. Huh. Uh, Iowa budget RC bashers. Hey, Tony, when are the servo on axle kits? Oh, just jump for, for the send Jags truck going to ship excited to get mine. You're like, I just got a new printer, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up on prints and print new stuff. Yeah. Or more different stuff other than those. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, everything shipped today. So I nice. opened it up for, I kept opening up the pre-order to more and more. I'm like, well, I can get this. I'll, ha I'll have this many screws on order. And then it would hit like the 50 pre-order limit. And I'm like, well, crap. I was, I got to order more screws. And so then the screws said they were going to come in like a day later, but still before January 3rd, which is when they had to ship. Uh -huh. uh, well, shipping was closed all weekends till right. today. Right. So I realized I had a little bit of extra time. So I opened up the shipping and counted how many I thought I could actually make. <laughs> yeah i finished making by that time so um there were over a hundred ordered wow but, yeah it was crazy so my printer has been going and that's why i got a new printer i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's need, awesome dude need to have more you know it'll dry <clears throat> up because it's all the people that are just getting them and looking for upgrades and everything mm -hmm. um but still in the future, if one of the printers goes down or whatever, I want to have one that's, you know, ready to go or can sure. print. So, sure. Um, yeah. So I ordered up a second one, which actually came today. I ordered it like the 30th, 
from nice. the Czech Republic. Wow. And it said like three to four week lead time on it because they, you know, they're the built ones. Yeah. And it was like next day it shipped. And I was like, holy cow. Wow. That's fast. And arrived on the third. It was like three to four day shipping. Yeah. So, yeah. That's crazy. Speaking but, of shipping. Yeah. Everything shipped. So if you ordered one, if you didn't order it today, it shipped. Even stuff that ordered late last night, I packaged this morning before we went out. Nice. So. Do you know who Mark Rober is? No. Seriously? Your kids don't watch that? Mark Rober, he's the he's the guy that did the glitter bomb. Oh, I watched that, yeah. Yeah. So Where people pick up the stuff. He does all the cool <laughs> yeah. science things. Yeah. Yeah. So we got my daughter the Crunch Labs thing and it Yeah, I just showed... saw he came out with those. I see the ads for it all the time. Yeah. So ours just showed up today and she's like super geeked about it. So She's all like she was the one. She's not so much into it anymore. I asked her if she wanted to do another build with me. She's like, "Yeah, sure," <laughs> but like she's she's the one that really got the ball rolling on this stuff because on the RC stuff because she was like all into building the RC cars, uh -huh. less about driving them, more into building them. So I was like, "All right, let's build," and uh, I think she's the one that really got me into it. But nice. Uh, so now she's getting into like engineering stuff. And we got her a Raspberry Pi. Now I have to learn how to do more programming. And she's like, when are we going to do this? When are we going to do this? I'm like, I got to, we got to learn this together. Like, I don't know the answers to this. So it'll be cool. VNB Speed said, whose birthday? That would be Tony. He looks a lot older than I am. Yeah. So. The glasses don't <laughs> help, right? <laughs> the, uh, um, Jeff saying he's got a fever and he's been to, diverticulitis or something severe Oof. dan so sorry to hear that man yeah that's a it's a tough bout you need a monster truck from brass ring fab they're pretty awesome epic. yeah they're pretty epic tristan yeah, my book fairly is not gonna be the same this year as it has been in past years at least it doesn't seem like it at the start here we'll see what the year We're does gonna have but... We're gonna have to get you uh, welding so you can make your own brass ring fab. Yeah, or, or there's a lot of things. measuring. I'm not one that loves that. <laughs> Tristan Farley RC says, "What company would you recommend to buy metal axles from for SMT10?" It's a good question because I've been thinking about that. You're like, just buy an LMT. Yeah. <laughs> LMTs are awesome. What did Sean yeah. say? I didn't see what... what's going on, Jeff. Uh, two My, weeks oh, for yeah. a partial coming from California. I was talking about waiting on stuff. Yeah. <laughs> C Dub says I saw the King Weld. Oh yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> Jeff get says... it out again. I got. I'll have more time, but less money. So I got to get a little bit more creative. Sure. So I'll have yeah. to send you. I I get good deals on tubing or not tubing, tubing from Scale Metal Supplies, but steel solid rod uh three sixteenths of scale stuff i whenever i buy steel i'm like just fill up what the line item is for that and because i buy steel by you know thousands of pounds or whatever they're like well to fill up the line it's gonna take you know it's like 40 dollars to fill up the line but that means it's like 15 sticks of 20 foot long three <laughs> three sixteenths rod so i'm like all right whatever so two goes, bro yeah <laughs> Uh, VBC or VB Speed says, "Yep, just put LMT axles on it and save you some time." So opinion, I've been thinking about this. Oh, sorry. Opinion on integer LMT metal axles, real quick. I would just say that they're probably very much the same as the stock ones, but metal. Um, yeah. These companies have it down pretty much, and a lot of them are just at this point rebranding other ones that people have already said are good. So, yep. Uh, I've been looking at those Amazon ones. They have some cheap Amazon ones that are like twenty bucks a, a an for axle. An set. Well, for one, yeah, for one axle, I think Dang. it is. <coughs> Excuse me. How so I've even do that. I know, right? Must be the like worst aluminum you've ever used. But yeah. it's stronger than plastic. So. Yeah, I thought about doing that because I that was my wonder what I was going to do for my black market build. I'm like. What axles? I mean, I have axles, and I have beef tubes in them. 
So I don't really think I have to do anything else. I just don't like how the C hub screw wears out and mm -hmm. then you get that slop in there. So I'm like, eh. What kind of TIG welder do I use? I use a CK Worldwide Pro TIG 220, I think is what it's called. I don't know, something like that. I'll look it up. It's a great welder. It's a great machine. They're based out of Auburn, Washington, um, but they sell worldwide. Uh, they are a great company. Like you can call and talk to people. <laughs> which is awesome <laughs> so uh let me see what the name of this tig is it's a ac dc tig so it's an inverter tig uh i just heard a big beep i don't know what that was that was me coming back in after i opened my computer back up so i can oh. see the comments down here ah. we'll click on them if we need to gotcha you were gonna go a different direction too i remember me? where we were talking about something before I went. I jumped to the axle thing. So just be thinking about that as you're thinking about your TIG welder. Uh, Maybe somebody in the comments remembers where you're going. I didn't let you talk very much, though, so I don't think you even got your, <laughs> your start on. Man, I wish I brought a different chair over. This one's going to uh, can hardly get up after the last show. I can't get yeah. <laughs> Speaking of getting old. It's like, ah. Let's see. Why can't oh TIG machine? Here we go. All right. So we talking about SMT ten stuff too. MT two hundred ACDC TIG from CK Worldwide is the machine I use. It's awesome. Uh, is awesome too. So. ACDC is awesome. Yeah. There you go. Um, what was I talking about? I don't remember. Thanks a lot, Tony. Let's talk about your trail run because I want to know about the fail. Is it time? <sighs> yeah, we can go on to that. So, okay, so the trail fail. This was fresh. You haven't talked about new stuff yet either. I, I talked about new stuff and you didn't get to. You I don't, choose. I, it's a choose your own destiny. <laughs> I don't really have... Uh, I don't think I have anything new. I got some pinions. Sweet. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but no, I don't Fair think enough. I... Yeah, well, anyways... Moving on to trail fails. So trail fails. So I have had one trail fail so far in the last year. And what that was, we were hiking and we started bumping up against daylight. And this was last year. And we were probably half an hour from summiting. And I had the whole family with me and it was, and I was on an unfamiliar trail and it was already a seven mile hike. <laughs> and I was like, we should turn around. So I was kind of bummed about that. So I'm definitely going back to summit that one. That's got a lake at the top. But this one. Now, do you wear <laughs> like a GPS watch or do anything on your phone to get yourself back? Well, I mean, they're on a trail. So I follow the trail back. But Okay. But they don't have like leads that go off the trails? Or is it like yeah, colors some, each some way? Sometimes. But most of the time, the trails that I am on there's only been a couple times where I've been up to a trail and been like, which way do I go? And normally that's when I have to rock scramble to get over something. Uh, or if there's been like a slide or something like that, and you could tell it's a new trail. But uh, I, I have, so I was actually making to make a video about this at some point. I've got a big list of ideas for videos. And one of them was doing trail recon, like how I go about doing my trail recon. Uh, I use all trails and yep. i interact with those people but it let me down this time in a big way and i was kind of bummed so we drove an hour and a half to a trail in the mountains i was all jazzed because last hike i did in the snow it was like epically beautiful right and the tr the weather was like 50 50 rain 50 50 snow 50 50 sunny it was like kind of had everything in it so i was like okay let's go and catch some we were going to go to a waterfall that was frozen out in the snoqualmie pass area called franklin falls we get out there and we get out there late and it was probably parking half a mile away from what i had thought the trailhead was so i circle and circle and then all of a sudden i'm like oh like 
favor, we get this parking spot right next to the opening of where everyone's walking in on the trail, right? So I'm like, swoop, park, we get in. I have my backpack. I'm carrying the Enduro SE on my back. Uh, my son's driving his Halo truck. And I elected not to bring my trekking poles, but I had a heavy pack with all our stuff in it. And, you know, we were set up for rain and all that kind of stuff. So we're, we start hiking in. And it turns out we're on a road that's been plowed that has about this much snow and ice compact, but it warmed up enough that it started to turn into slush. And so we're hiking in and it turns out that we had a two mile hike just to get to the trailhead on this like cat track, basically, where my poor kid, you know, he's only almost four feet tall and the snow drift was about three feet tall. So he was staring at snow the entire way <laughs> and we're like walking in. And then I get to the trailhead and I'm like, okay, so it's a two mile round from the trailhead. And so I'm like, okay, well, let's see how it is. But at the trailhead, they stopped plowing and it's warm. So when there's warm and the snow pack is deep, you fall in. And so we're hiking in and we're probably a quarter of a mile in and it starts to get to the point where you can see where people fell and it went two and a half feet down to the trail where they fell in and we're walking and I'm starting to sink in. My son's not having too bad of an issue because, you know, he's all of 60 pounds or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're walking in and, I, and then it just starts raining and it's like wet and I'm just like, this sucks. And so we turn around. We didn't even get to the top. The weather sucked. We start hiking back and he starts getting tired. He was a trooper about the whole thing, but he was like getting cranky kind of a thing. And so, yeah. and I couldn't fault him for that. And then the sun starts to go down and we're in the trees. And I should have sent you the picture before this, but it was like, oh, I think I posted it on Instagram. It was black. It was dark by the time we got to the truck and it was like snow and rain mix. And we were just soaking wet and, uh, you know, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, it was a long day for nothing. So I treated them. We have a crisp. I don't know if you know what Krispy Kreme is out there. Yep. So I drove them by like Krispy Kreme. Oh, I'm just saying. We, we were right across the street from one when we were in Chesapeake. Remember? Oh, that's right. Blowing that, light? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So we drive, we're driving home and there's a Krispy Kreme, a big one. And I was like, you know what? Let's go get some hot donuts. So we drive up, and of course, it's New Year's Eve. And they're like, yeah, we're understaffed. We only have these donuts left, no hot ones. And I'm like, dang it. <laughs> so we didn't even get good donuts, but it was all right. It was fun. <laughs> so, you know, it's, but it's one of those things where it's like, it was a long day. It, so our hike turned into a 5.1, 5.2 mile hike to nowhere like in snow on nothing exciting to see i mean we had some cool things was to it look cold at. or no if it's it's if it's 30. raining snowing it's in what 30s upper 30s? yeah lower 30 it was like 33 32 okay. so i mean when you're hiking that's not cold you know you're right. still you're hot so and we had gear on so it was hot in our gear um but now nah, i mean it was just one of those things where it's like that's how I started my 120 miles. So it's like, well, five. I saw the post about the mile update. Yeah. So but five, I didn't know the story. 5.2 out of 120. Here you go. And I made a, I grossly or underestimated this challenge that I'm not challenge, but this, how many 120 miles is? No. no. So oh. one of our resolutions we said as a household is we're not going to eat past eight o'clock every night right and if we drink anything it has to be water and or milk for the kids and so we're like i enter i i i immediately regretted that decision when i got down here and i was like all i can drink is water <laughs> i was like great so now i'm gonna have to pre that's a whole before. year resolution thing or is it a january thing or well i'm just uh, seeing yeah, I mean, it's it's not anything. It's more trying to get the kids and the family to sleep at a decent time yeah. more than it is like a dietary thing. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I need to do something like that. I could I could not sleep last night. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I I was on the phone with Dirk 
uh, Seiko 13 garage to like 3.30 or something. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was crazy. So yep. I was waiting. For one thing, I was waiting for Prince to end on here. Mm. So I could do a swap out. So in the morning, I'd have enough to finish all the orders that yeah. I had to get to. But yep. um, yeah. It's, it's brutal. Yeah. You should try it. It's, you know, it's kind of one of those things that my uncle, we went and visited him this last weekend and he's a pastor and he's like, well, that's one step to, closer to fasting when he, <laughs> I was like, well, I guess so. Like I've never done that before. And I was like, eh. and this morning I weighed myself cause I haven't weighed myself in a long time. So I was like, you know what? There's a lot of things happening. Let's just get a, like a baseline to where I'm at. And I was like, I know I lost weight when I got sick. Like I lost, yeah. Like, a few, you know, 10, 11 pounds or whatever. But I was like, I was at 250 and I was like, that's not light for me, but I'm normally like 265, 270. And I was like, 250. So I'm like, well, let's see what happens with this uh, new diet thing. It's not even a diet, but you know, just right. not new schedule. Of Your body likes it better though. It's not the yeah. stuff that's not getting processed when you're sleeping. Yep. And then the, all the hiking and stuff. So let's talk about your pulling. It looked awesome. Pulling was fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. So weight definitely helps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, having something at give weight by moving the attachment definitely helps, which we know that we've already talked about. We'll have to limit when we do start putting attachment points on how high that attachment point can be, because the higher it is, the more it's going to pull down on your truck and give you more traction. So, right. We got to find some leveling playing field. Um, so and, how are how are you guys? I saw the video and it looked like you guys were using like a C cl uh, S clip or yep S hook or whatever. So when we tractor pulled in our TTC, basically a stainless steel like a cent I mean essentially a welding rod was made into a, a like a V shape and then it had two hooks on it. Yep, and that just went around our rear axle. So yeah. you could spread it open or go, you know, for whatever truck it was right? for the shock distance. And then we just all pulled from there and it was just however the mounting point was on the tray on the sled. Like, yeah. How are you guys doing that? Well, that's what we were trying to figure out. So uh -huh. he's got it set up to hook to your axle. That little thing, one hook will hook right over an SDX 10 axle or uh -huh. SDX 24 axle. Easy. Just clip right. on and it doesn't really pull it crazy. It, you know, centers it yeah it centers pretty well but uh i guess if we lifted the the height on the the sled but that would just pull it down the front of the sled down right well if you if your axle is so low those scx 20 yeah, yeah. are so low well if you could take a measurement from the sled to the center point of the axle and then what i would do is i would probably put that point just half the distance between the axle height and the sled. Does that yeah. make sense? And then that way you're pulling and it's lifting the front of the sled slightly to meet level with the axle. Cause if you have it, if you have it the other way where the high points on the sled, yeah, you're going to dig the sled in. Yeah. Which but is what's you, even with it as low as it is right now, the sled's digging in on those SCX 24 axles. Okay. So we started mounting up on the bumpers and okay. it went way better. Sure. Night and okay. day. Yeah. So, Maybe you can print some kind of proprietary uh, receiver hitch. Yeah. That'll well, I was time. thinking, I've, I tried a bumper because we were hooking onto bumpers. I said a bumper with yeah. a hole in it to hook onto. But I'm, I'm thinking now of doing something that goes <clears> up between <throat> the um, rails. So you'd probably mm -hmm. have to take your back end off, slide this up the rails, and then would attach it maybe at the battery spot or something. Mm or where your bumper goes in it would tab in so it would screw you put long screws in to hold it there sure but would come down and out and it would have different holes in it like a, a flat plate okay so kind of like they do for the 10 scale yeah, yeah but using the inner rails with a, a chunky piece because you're gonna have something so it doesn't want to pull down right and we can't just do like frame rails on the side only with these like they do with the 10 scale it's not a big enough gap sure and if it's 3d printed it's gonna just break off right, right if it's done back there so i was thinking somehow to get the force to to be up in that more in the middle and come out 
and have a spot where we could do like three different height adjustments for it because some people are gonna have taller trucks and so they have to to make whatever our highest minimum is would have to drop the the, the hook so i got an idea for you but i'll spit it to you offline that way no one takes this secret sauce idea <laughs> but yeah I mean, well part of it was making like a new riser for the body the shock post and using that whole area there and it would also create the shock hoop and then go back and drop but we'll see yeah let me see my sons because he doesn't have four steer Oh, yeah. I got an idea for you. All day, Tony. But yeah, You ready? Like you better that. get that 3D printer fired up. I'm about to design you some money here, buddy. Merry, <laughs> happy birthday. There we go. Happy <laughs> birthday. We're all uh, just better going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm actually busting yeah. out my, my sketch pad on my iPad right now just for you. Ah. Uh, so that's cool. Did you blow up a motor yet? I'm waiting. No, but and I was running a micro Komodo. I bet if I put a bigger one in, it'll have even more power. Um, but a lot of it is just getting the traction, you know. So yeah. I think I need more weight. But we we kind of came up with some limits, probably like 800 grams for our like outlaw, like the you know go crazy, go nuts people. And like sure. 600 for the one that's going to be a little bit more limited on. How yeah, that guy with the, the Ford. That yeah, was metal body. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a heavy truck, man. Yeah. Because that thing, I mean, but his, I don't want his you to talk. point two was really high. I don't know if you saw when the sled was pulled, it slipped in that front end up pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want you to talk trash, but does that thing crawl very well because it's so heavy? I didn't see I him crawling. I wouldn't yet. think. Except yeah, I wouldn't think it would. Okay. Yeah, my son did a, we built his and we put the die cast son of a digger body on it. And it was terrible. Yeah. Like it, it was so top heavy. It was not good. But he liked the way it looked. He really wanted me to do it. And I was like, nope. Yeah. It's not going to happen, kid. Yeah. And people keep suggesting trailer hitches. Trailer hitches on these are too small. It would be too flimsy. It's got to be a massive back like the back piece has to be pretty thick and there's got to be some structure to it because when you're tugging on that thing especially if it's 3d printed um it's going to need some you know stability built in more than a little receiver hitch you. and all that so I, I got you tony but yeah i got you i'm, I'm sketching as we talk buddy like I've got but bob yeah we're definitely gonna have different classes with weight limits tire limits motor limits uh, the lower class will probably also be limited to 2S, where the upper class will probably be a 3S. Um, so, yeah. What's in the box? I just was showing the box of one of the presents. I could be opening while we're talking. Talking? That, that's a new word we're going to develop <laughs> this year, 2023. Talking. Talking your face off. Got this from uh, Reaction today. Oh, the white looks really good gonna blow out like crazy on here but it's pretty blown out all yeah, the blown out you can handle i like it oh that's sick so, dude i'm thinking about making this some kind of a ccxrc themed truck and then just beating the crap out of it <laughs> so what's the story on those so i've heard people say that they're not that fast out of the box but then you put a speed motor in it and i'm like There's what's the speed, speed motor they're like eight bucks okay so i need to know this and what that means because this guy needs a speed motor now something <clears throat> c3070 high speed motor it's a 130 size so is that like the barrage size motor no it's bigger it's thick it's like the traxxas size oh have you seen the fms ones in the fcx 24s no. mm-hmm -mm. Well, let me see if it's Traxxas size. Should be about the Traxxas size. They're big. And you get extra speed because of these portals. Uh, I thought the portals would gear it down. 
Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same size. It's not as long as the Traxxas one. No, these portals are faster than SCX-24s. Mm. So Jeff is saying the big block motor. It's interesting because I was going to message him about that, the MoFo big block motor. Um, I was going to message him about that because I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so my kid, for Christmas, my parents bought him the MoFo RC uh, monster truck tires for this truck. Yes. And I'm lazy. I'm going to be blatantly oh. honest. I'm lazy. I want to put a motor in here that's fast enough to give him some pop, but slow enough that he can. I can just switch the tires and he can crawl. <laughs> so, so I'm like, and I already have the lizard in here. Uh, yeah, I have the lizard in here. Hmm. So... I'm trying to well, figure out. Well, these are two speeds, too, these transmissions in here. Right, right. But, yeah, so there's a couple things that are working for this having speed. Sure. Um, these tires actually feel pretty cool. I yeah. have your Goliath in here, and it's awesome as a crawler. It's just right. not, not enough fast for the monster truck tires, I don't think. You know what I mean? I haven't tried it yet. Has anybody tried the speed motor in here? I have not. I would be curious to see because they don't give any specs on it. I'd be curious to see if it would be faster. It may not be enough still. But B. Kochner is saying I want the BAM motor. Is, yeah. that the, is that the Emerald motor? Who's the BAM motor? That's MoFo. Oh, is it MoFo? It's got a brushless motor, BAM. Ah. Um, it's kind of a fast motor outrunner. Yeah. These, um, I don't know if I mentioned it on our live, but these mo uh, servos fit in here awesome with that. Oh, with that, that DSM, DSM off-road. What a yeah. simple thing for 10 bucks, man. So nice. Sweet. And the material that he uses is really good. I don't know how he's having them made. If he's just doing it in a... Whatever the new 3D printing is with the resin and all that, or what? But they, they're not getting a ton of. Pop. I mean, the chance of breaking something like that mount is not great. Which yeah. is something that I, I, I have a question about. Yeah. <clears throat> These. So I had somebody message me, um, and wanting because he's going to be doing a review on YouTube about the new Jags and sent or not, not new Jags, but the Jags monster trucks and yeah. the send ones but the jegs in particular. Um, but he wanted the files for these because he doesn't want PLA to be used in high impact areas or whatever, or high stress areas. But this is not at any point of that real torque of that thing. This shouldn't, this shouldn't be getting very much, unless you have like a stick come over the front of your axle or something like hit it straight on and not get yeah. back. Yeah. But that the torque be in a world of hurt anyway, whether you're doing metal or anything. Right. The torsion <clears throat> on that twisting is being soaked up by the body of the servo. Right. So you're not going to have, I mean, you might have a little flex, but everything's going to have flex up there. Right. And these are pretty thick. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I would say if you're concerned about that, you, if you are concerned about that, maybe look at doing that PLA that you already have, the VO3D stuff. The high strength stuff. <clears throat> high yeah. impact. Because mm -hmm. that stuff is super strong. Um, okay. Well, I was going to say, you do your bodies and stuff out of the PLA. Oh, I, I do mean, all I kinds wouldn't want to put maybe knuckles or things like that that are going to certain things where you definitely are putting a lot of strain on them and unless you have a super high dollar printer even if you print them an abs you're not gonna get dividends of uh benefit from printing them out of a different material like i don't know of a different material that you could do that's like going to be amazing um, I mean mostly and I know you did already because we talked about it 
but mostly your strength in that part is going to come from your infill and the way it's printed. Yeah. Um, I think people don't, and I don't mean this to whoever's asking that, but um, I got to plug in my iPad. Uh, well, I know like there's certain things like heat and different things that can be an issue if you leave them in cars and different, uh, different things with plastic melt and all that. But um, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not planning to do ABS or anything like that for anything I'm doing. No, I don't think you need to. I think you're fine. Why is this not charging? Why is this a bunch of comments in here? Oh, sorry. I haven't been taking it. 13 came in. What's up, Jeremy Smith? Thank you. Happy new year. We need to, we need to have a call soon, buddy. So it says do the buzz saw. The buzz saws are pretty quick. Oh, for my application? Yeah, but it's not super fast. It's quick. Well, that's the thing. I don't hear them up, but then you burn them out faster. I don't. I, I don't need anything to be super fast. I just want something to be cheap and easy. Like okay. for you know, he doesn't drive his a whole lot. I mean, he does. If it was, if it was kind of quick, he would drive it a heck of a lot more. Um, mm -hmm. I'll tell you that. But yeah, a lot of people are saying the BAM motor, which is. Gonna be a little more expensive, but not too bad. What are we talking about? A little more expensive? Like, I have no. I can look it up. Uh, I think they're in the thirty range. That's not too bad. The good thing is I already have the ESC for it, so that's a good thing. Why are none of these cords working to charge my iPad, Tony? This so what? Frustrating, dude. That just Ooh, happened to me. Coffee. I tried to charge my iPad the other day with a. Uh, one of my light charger cables. You know, yeah. from my, um, it might have came with this actually, which is for charging my microphones. Yeah, in, which that's I what I'm doing right now. But, that's uh, what I'm trying to do right now. And none of these cords are working. My nice cords upstairs, of course. Yeah, these little cases are awesome. If you run the Rode microphones, and normally you have to plug each one in to charge them, it stinks. This one, you can charge them all in one case, and it's a battery pack, so right now they're charging, not plugging in anything. But when I plug it back in, nice. it'll charge up all of them and the case, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, this um, RC, in here. I'm RC for all. Metal I'm trying to tell. RC for all, thank you, on behalf of Tony that probably can't see it, for his... Nine ninety nine birthday coffee. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> you gotta hit a big uh, beep. I've actually never had coffee there yet. So oh, then I get back. Pablo I to come once. to finals this year. Jeremy Smith, um, he said we're gonna get Paulo to come to finals this year. I'd be all over that. That'd be fun. Heck yeah! I'm telling you, that's what we gotta do. We gotta start a little production company where. We just go out and shoot all these events from all these different angles. Oh, that's something I could bucks. that's something I can segue to that you suggested that I hope everyone goes and watches. That live RC race. Oh yeah, really good. Dude. Really well. Super, done. super awesome. Yeah. So I started to watch it and I was like, eh. I started to watch it at the shop and I was like, I better stop and watch this with the kid because it was like yeah, he's getting the race and he'd love it. Yeah, and it was entertaining and everything. So I was like, yeah, buddy. Like it was really good. And, and then I went 55. I was way off. <clears throat> Whoa. Way off. See, that's the thing that I was worried about is that not worried about is that getting a motor like that, then I feel like I have to go down the rabbit hole of changing out the tranny stuff. And right now I think uh, I'm pretty sure he just has the stock tranny in it. Does that come with the mounts and everything for it at 55 bucks? Yeah, see, I could see it going down a rabbit hole with that. But I'm not only just wanting it to go fast. I want him to be able to crawl with it still. Or at I'm least... Just saying, not, most of the brushless motors on them by themselves are like 35 or 25 yeah. bucks for the motor. Sure. But if you're getting a transmission or mounts or some other stuff pinioned with it... Right, it adds up. Then, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. says, yes, it does come with the mounts. Got it. That's nice. why it was off. Yep. Nice. I still yeah, have to. Thanks again, Chris. <clears throat> I still have to order my uh, my uh, CV joints, my axles. I was going to order the Mofo ones and try those out, 
because I keep on breaking these other ones. So I uh, got to get those ordered up. I need to, I, it's funny. So now I totally understand, understand your plight when it comes to posting a lot of 24 scale footage because it takes off on YouTube. Unlike any of my other footage, it's like all my 24 scale stuff is like, at a thousand or whatever for views versus and the long form stuff, not just the, the, uh, you know, the short yeah. stuff. So I'm going to address some of it. Like I'm actually looking to sell quite a bunch of my bigger ones. People are going to think, what are you crazy? Not my monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> so caveat, but some of my bashers and stuff, mainly, mainly my one ten scale crawlers, which is really going to be people are like, what? Yeah. So I'm I'm actually going to work on my first podcast for the year. Ooh. And um, I have a couple actually okay. that I'm going to be working on. And actually the second one idea came from RC Driver. Nice. Uh, one of them came from RC Driver. I'm going to mix them up and um, that way you don't know which one came from him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've got some that have to deal with, of, of course, going to monster trucks and, and all that. And then kind of the whole uh, upgrades, doing the whole upgrade, the idea of upgrade series and going back into that, like you talked about. And Are you doing this uh, on really podcast, like on, yeah. on YouTube forum podcast though? No, no, just audio. Okay. okay. But, That's the uh, new thing in 2023, everyone's saying YouTube podcast. Yeah. It just, it, it makes it so much slower to do, to make. Yeah than to just sit down and do the audio thing because sure. if you feel like you have to, you're being watched or you're whatever, like, yeah, you have yeah, to have put mean, pants Joe on Rogan, whatever. I, yeah. I could just sit down <laughs> and, you know, be in my skivvies and yeah. just go for it, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, so, uh, but one of the ideas was um, that uh, basically like, Mini RC crawling is the new model train. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Louder with Crowder style. You're gonna right. Yeah, I, I love that guy's stuff. Man. I think he <laughs> just like falls out like in people's face. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Totally louder with Crowder style. But that's. I mean, that's. We can hash that a little here. But I really feel like the 24 scale crawling fanatics. Are the model train people? It's the dollhouse of nineteen seventies yeah. and eighties. Yeah, right. Gonna... That would build up the courses in their basements or in their attics or yeah. in a spare bedroom, yeah. and they deck it all out with trains, yeah. and make mountains and hills and tunnels and add <laughs> shrubbery and all of that. Yeah. But that's now like I keep seeing people like showing me their like new basement courses and i'm like dang like so i, I was thinking too because i'm looking for a spot to do one in here for just quick video stuff and like bigger space and i keep kicking the kids out of spots of the house like i was like yeah. that lego room you've got over there how about we move you <laughs> out here <laughs> and i'll take over that and i'll you know use that for a crawler course because oh. then i can shut the cat out because yeah that's the problem. Like that's a, a, a legit thing is if I want to use. Oh yeah. Litter, my dog, my dog comes down here and we litter, have, right. Yeah. Well, we come, my dog comes <laughs> down here while I'm recording or doing something and we have laminate flooring and it's like, tick, 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 and, and I'm like, get out. And we have a, you know, a throw rug or whatever. I'm like, get on the carpet, go to your bed. Like it's just like ah, da, 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 all loud and stuff. Yeah. The animals are always a, a thing. yeah. It, it's funny well, you say that too. It's not even while I'm running, but like pooping. Like, cause there's a spot I could do one down in here. Yeah, that's why I don't do cats. But the cat would just be like dirt. <laughs> one, making a mess of it. Two, like pooping in it or peeing in yeah. it. Yeah, I have to be able to shut the door, and so I'm like, hey, your Lego room would be perfect for yeah. me to feel. But um, yeah, I, I don't know, but. I really went to my like it is the new model train because then I'm thinking, well, what happens if I have to flash sale this house for whatever reason? Somebody's yeah. gonna come in and be like, What in the world? Like, why are there pegboards on this beadboard? Like there's beadboard wall all through down here. And yeah. I've now got like pegboards all up on it and like uh That's what my desk. <laughs> That's uh, what my wife says about the backyard. Cause yeah. 
everyone says, you know, oh, your her backyard is so epic and blah, 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 all this kind of stuff about my backyard, right? Because it's like, I've got a full on racetrack and not a full on racetrack, but I mean, it's yeah. a racetrack, a crawler course, a monster jam course, like all of the above in the, in the course back there. And my wife's like, if we ever sell this house, what are you going to do? And I'm like, yeah. I'm just going to move all the rocks into a trailer and it's all flat and graded already for the racetrack. I'm just going to level it all out and be like, do what you want, whatever yeah. you want. And pour some gravel, plant some grass. Some yeah. Yeah. Well, like, and so we went to my uncle's place. They just moved over. I'm bummed because they moved back from, he was a pastor at another church in Eastern Washington. And that's that place I used to go to and get all the sick footage of like the basalt rocks and the mini like bush trees It looked really scale. It was awesome footage there. They moved and they moved out towards Mount Rainier and it's gorgeous out there. But his house, I was like, they had this bonus room downstairs that was just a big room. And he's like, yeah, this is going to be your aunt's, uh, uh like craft room and it was like so big that it was like you could put an island in the middle and still have a bench going all the way around and i'm like i would love to have a space like that just so i could yeah. like studio it out and have my workbench all that kind of stuff oh to be able to have space like that where i could close the door and be able to just talk loud like right now you can't see but the entry to my this room down here where the tv is and all that they've got the stairs that comes down. So if I start projecting, like after we're done here, I'm going to record some voiceovers for some stuff I've been doing. And I feel like I have to talk all quiet because <laughs> everyone's in bed and I can't right. like project my voice as much. And yeah, I don't have a door. So I was talking to Dirk the other night. He's like, did you sound like really quiet or you're like really tired? I'm like, well, I'm I'm upstairs now, and everybody's asleep. So I have to talk a lot quieter than I normally talk when I'm on these videos. Because <laughs> you, you feel you like know, you have to yell at the phone, like "Come on!" Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, so and what you need to do, here, but yeah, you need to put some heat on your sidewalk over there so you can uh, make it so you can get back to your studio. Yeah, it's upstairs, and it's a pain. It's a nice honestly, space, it though. It's a good it's space. Just, Suck it up, Tony. I just took it all back <laughs> up there when it melted. So <clears throat> I had to um, carry all my lighting equipment back up from Turkey. If I had like yeah. pieces of camera gear to take back up and reset the whole studio up. Uh, I used the, the um, stuff up there. <coughs> well, but, let's uh, talk real let's talk real quick about what you might be moving because or selling wise. Because there's something that you have that I'm interested in. Okay. And I'm and I'm not gonna say what it is, so I'm gonna wait to see if you're gonna sell it or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see who's. They were saying something about the the crawler course thing and the house oh. stuff. So they're saying yeah. they've got um, um model kit people as well. Uh, I was both. Brian Koshner says. Well, I'm just saying that it's the new model train. Like people still buy model trains, but when I go to the hobby shop, they have huge model train areas. <clears throat> but I mean, I feel like a lot of people are buying that stuff now to use on their scale courses when I'm there. Um, so there's still definitely, and the people that are doing model trains, a lot of them have a lot of money to throw at it. So there's a little bit of a difference there. Um, yeah. but it's like them when they were younger and got into model training, I feel like us now are going to be doing these little mini truck things that are going to be even more developed and going crazier as we yeah. get older, but we're going to have a lot more money and space to throw at it mm -hmm. potentially, or not, not a care in the world about it because kids are out whatever yeah um see you jeremy but yeah there's a bunch of people in here c-dub said she saw 13 million dollar model train located in germany today that's They're crazy it, no crawling involved that i saw though yeah they're still doing the model trains but yeah this is a new segment where houses are being dedicated to people building basement courses and garage <laughs> Maybe, courses and all that let's let's start a let's start a company tony where it's a uh like a tlc channel oh. while it's like while you're out and yeah we'll just go in and make the people their scale crawler courses and be out the husband's gonna be crying and the wife's gonna be <laughs> yelling at him you did this while we were gone you had to come in and build this oh dude that'd be you know so what this is gonna do to our, our, our the value yeah 
This is or the baby's like, room. Asia, what are you going to throw a fit when they find out the backyard looks like this? <laughs> oh, man, that would be awesome. Uh, Aaron James is wondering, off-topic question, trying to calculate the final drive ratio for a monster truck. Does tire diameter get included in the equation or no? Are we talking 24 scale or? I'm guessing, I don't know. But fi- generally, tire diameter in a 10 scale monster truck is not it's as far the as. drive you- line before you put wheels on. I'm sure it changes when you put them on. But they're giving you a base of what the truck does before tires, right? No. So so your gear ratio is your gear ratio. Your drive rate. Oh, final drive ratio. Your drive ratio would be calculated with your wheels and tires. Yeah, it would up. be wheels. Um, but yeah. Uh, a pro C would be exact. What does Aaron Jones say? 110. Oh, a pro C. So he's asking about a pro C chassis. So that's 10 scale. Yeah. So yeah, so final drive would calculate, but dude, that's getting super technical. I crawler course fixer up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be Chip. I love it. You can be Joe. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, that's funny. yes. Yeah. Um, so if it's final drive ratio, it would include the tire diameter. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't, I'm not around much truck racing enough, but even in like 10 scale turf racing and stuff, I don't think they do final like drive ratio very yeah. often. Bob Price uh, says that RC Sparks had a really cool indoor 24 scale course. He did at the time, but people have gone way, 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 way. way oh, not yeah. That now. Yeah, because he was yeah. like a you know couple boards, just a table. With, yeah, yeah. Well, no, he dirt, had like a yeah. four by eight sheet with dirt. But it, I like that he used dirt and he used real rock. <clears throat> yeah. That's that's a game nice. Changer. Yeah, it is, and it's funny. So we have an old classic car in our garage. It's my stepdad's, and the joke is, I'm like, when that car gets out of there, I'm gonna make myself a sick little course inside. <laughs> but, yeah. but. It's it's kind of like, I don't know, man. Like my my backyard course was there at the perfect time. I built it just before 2020 hit, and we got a lot of use out of it by that, you know, through the whole 2020 debacle stuff, and it was great. And now it's like we're out, we're out doing hikes, you know, we're out. Yeah. We don't. Or we're out Your to the winter doesn't track, get though. as bad as here. It's wet it's though. Yeah, it's wet, and but but we go indoor for racing now. Yeah, so it's like we're getting our fix. So and we've got indoor places here. For me, it'd be more for um, making videos. Mm-hmm. Got the new McLaren sixty six hundred KV five fifty can. Uh, they give a final drive ratio range. Yeah, McLaren is out. Based out of here, out of Redmond, I thought. They're local. Uh, my iPad. I don't know tonight. all that stuff. That's not my bread and butter. McLan is, uh, from, from what I've known, is most mainly like uh, buggies uh, yeah. and drag stuff. But Yeah, race stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of racing, so you're seeing selling. selling, but go ahead. Speaking of, oh yeah, no, I want to hear your selling if you if you're no, ready yet. Selling, I, if you're know, not I ready, don't take anything exactly yet. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be getting rid of crawlers for sure um, because I don't use them the one tenth that much. So <clears throat> um, you better be definitely keeping your keep ecto. my vanquish and my ecto. Okay, yeah, I didn't know those are my two ones oh, I mean to use. Yeah. Didn't you have a Unimog or something like that too? Well, I I made um, one of those Jeep, the crazy front Jeep things. It was an S six ten original, so I still have oh, that okay. that Jeremy actually Smith helped me put together. Uh, okay. We tore it back down and put it up, and then I did it, bought a whole bunch of eBay stuff to get the body all set up easy. But no, I'll probably be getting rid of um, some of my on road stuff that I have. 
Uh, I'll probably keep the felony, get rid of the other one, the car one, um, the felony. No, mm. keep the infraction and get rid of the felony. Mm. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I've got two of the smaller 3S uh, infractions. One of them that was a mega that was converted mm. to brushless. And then probably going to get rid of some of my 3S vehicles, Vortex, and um, probably going to get rid of the Italian EXP. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I may keep the Italian EXP and make it more like a Creighton because I like the Creighton a lot. Yeah. Uh, so I'll probably just put bigger tires on it and all that and and run that so it'll flip and do more tricks than it currently does. Sure. And because it is an EXB, but so I'll probably sell my Creighton. Um, I'll probably keep the 4S Outcast, but I'll probably sell like my Mad Van and, uh, and I got two. I've got the brush one and the brushless one. So a lot mm -hmm. of those kind of things. I'm probably going to sell my semi truck. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got another trailer for that. I've got that Happy Toys trailer. Oh, so right. A lot of that big stuff I'm probably going to get rid of to make more room in the studio. Because right now there's like no space. Yeah. Um, I've got the buggies, the two wheel drive buggies. Um, yeah. I'll probably sell one. I wish more. my situation was different on that. Because I totally would have taken one off your hands, but I kind of so, can't. Yeah. Um, There's what about what's your, the one uh, you're thinking of? I'm not selling the Raminator. That's for no. sure. No, not that one. I'm kind of got an itch for that Mojave. Oh yeah, I've been, I've been wanting your awesome. Mojave. For, I know. I've been wanting one of those for a while, and I'm like, <sighs> the only thing I, I'm torn on it because I really want a UDR because I like the scaleness of it. And the Mojave is not as scale, right? But but it's but pretty it drives rad. so good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rad. It drives amazing. And I we need have to fix a big the center diff in that though. Well, I know a guy or the that can rear fix diff. The center diff. Huh? I know a guy that can fix diffs. Yeah, <laughs> one of them. I, I, it was literally after I said I had no problems with that car. You're I'd like ah. and like the sand, and it's like crunching like, yeah no power like, yeah that's not true when i got it the center dip was not right and i shoved a whole bunch of um i basically locked it up with yeah the cat somehow got into one of those bins right there <laughs> and just came out of it oh i thought it was taking a dump behind i thought i saw it taking a uh, dump behind you he uh, he probably found the one that has feather pieces in it from like, the crafting Bob, stuff. Bob Price says, "What is the Raminator?" The Raminator is eighty pounds of awesome. Yeah, with a gas engine, and uh, it's like the Ramu uh, Raminator monster truck shape. It's like a Dodge Ram. It's like fifth fifth scale. Yeah, it's like fifth scale Cialis, basically, is what it is. It's huge. It's... <laughs> yeah. It's something. <laughs> it's the biggest <laughs> RC that I've ever seen in person. Uh, other than the, the, the Grave Digger looks even bigger because the body makes it yeah, look even more impressive. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick. I wish I was getting one of those. Yeah, the Primal Truck. Yep. 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 So I have that. Um, and I have the Bari build. I'll never get rid of that. Uh, yeah. For a low price tag, <laughs> there's always a price. <laughs> there's always a price. Um, you say that, I say that because I was like, with my Frankenwagon truck, I got offered a pretty good chunk for that at one point. Which and one? The Frankenwagon. Oh, yeah. The, the first crazy one that I built. Did you get rid of I, it? No, but I had a guy offer me like 1200 on the spot. Yeah, and then for you it. sold it later, right? But you didn't get to a hundo and you're wishing you did. No, I didn't or sell you rebuilt it. I, it. I rebuilt it. I was going to sell the body and then the body ended up, it wasn't going to sell. And so I was like, eh, I'll rebuild it. So I rebuilt it. And, you know, same with like the Lazarus truck. I've had people be like, what's your number? And it's like, I don't really have one right now. 
because it sucks because like i don't know what else i would build that would be that cool same with the franken wagon you know i because like you're really not it. that creative. You just got lucky on that one. So. I, I did get lucky on that. He's, he's letting us know here. He's, <laughs> he comes across as this creative professional that nah. works in the design world uh, nah. with yeah. metals and stuff. But he's really got nothing. He's, he's tapped out at this point. <laughs> yeah. I actually... Left, what Lily has left. I know where you're I, at, man. I just turned I, what age yeah. And I'm yeah good. no i mean th this one i i literally was like i looked up fiverr and i was like i need an idea for an rc car and i paid five bucks and they're like here's your idea and i built it so i was like yeah i'm out of ideas <laughs> no I'm, i mean i'm gonna lean hot and heavy into the minis so i like this space uh-huh this is little like Cove. hallway that i have yeah. Here, my hallway space with my printers and that's now my photo box i finally have a space to put that nice. I've, I've had that and i could take good product photos and instead i just like <laughs> throw them on the little mat work man take a picture from my phone banana for scale yeah whatever <laughs> like just get it online i can just post it from my phone from here if i just yeah <laughs> yep so i finally did that uh 24 25 box photos and all that oh, and right, I, right. I pulled that out and now i want to leave it out it'll be more likely to use it if it's out i so i designed that backer and i still haven't printed it and i keep on wanting keep on kicking myself because i need a nice backer so i could take pictures of the stuff that i'm working on or the video that i'm working on now a lot of i have a lot of uh how-to stuff coming yeah um and there you go bob it, rice got how-to videos coming build videos oh yeah lots of build. i so real quick i'll run some ideas by you uh because you're a good uh, person for ideas uh where to go that's why i got these glasses that look like idea glasses <laughs> so these one like of the ideas i was going to comment on and this is perfect for what we're talking about smaller size same fun question mark and I was gonna bring out a mini crawler with me on one of these hikes with a 10 scale crawler and see if I could find the same fun stuff. Uh, oh, it wouldn't be fun for that. I think I could find some cool places this, that I could run on. You can find fun that. stuff, but you can't yeah. hike with it. Like you're not gonna no. get to the, no. you're not gonna mount the, no. uh, you know. Uh, one of them. I'm not I'm, wrong, however I say it, so I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> one of them, I'm gonna do a how to full bearing kit swap did you do that already on the bronco or were you just no i, I haven't done the axles yet because i figured i'm gonna go in the snow with them okay so i'm I gonna do a full bearing kit yeah i'm yeah. gonna do a full bearing kit video on that with your bearings you uh, need traxxas trx foreign bearings for one of the cheapest spots you can get in the u.s yep ccxrc.com <laughs> yeah. uh uh, uh, what is, what's another one? Best beginner RC car for bashing. I'm going to go with the Arma Granite. Okay. That's my favorite. Yes. Yep. Uh, and I don't bash very much, but that's a lot of fun. King of the Desert Racers. Losi Baja. And that's like the Baja Ray. Uh, Baja Ray Trophy Truck Build. Budget RC Crawler. Gatekeeper Review. How to make an RC race video with a GoPro. That's another one I'm thinking about. How to make a race video with an iPhone. Uh, and then I'm going to do race features when I'm out there. But <clears throat> here's for, I don't remember who was asking about the how-to videos. I have a lot. So I have, these are all filmed. I just have to edit them. So I have Frankenwagon tire change. Frankenwagon wire. It's a rat's nest underneath, and I cleaned up all the wiring. Uh, steering link video for this truck, your CCXRC steering link. Uh, Halo Christmas. So I still oh, yeah. have all that video to edit. Uh, your Michigan Ice Monster, which I still haven't mailed out yet. I have that video. December Die Hard Race, which I'm going to a January Die Hard Race this weekend uh weld wednesdays this one's what's coming out tomorrow uh i did a bend and braze bumper for sms or for scale metal supplies franklin falls trail fail about his series that he's going to be working on or is that still under wraps 
Oh, good way to let the cat out of the bag, Tony. <laughs> what? I, I'm just okay. I didn't say anything. No, that's, that's, uh, right that's good. Kind of buzz. Yeah. No, we've, the right we, way. we we actually talked a little bit about something like that because I'm working on a Weld Wednesday thing where I'm going to try to do some posts on Wednesdays. Right, well, we're not going to talk about it anymore. That he got no. whatever bump he needs. Yeah. There you supplies, go. Get your nar bars. Oh yeah, he was happy about that. Stuff. He's like, he's like, what are you guys doing? All of a sudden, I got some bu- some uh, people are started buying those nar bars. I was like, dude, it's because like they're awesome. I had guys ask me about them on my shorts. He's like, what are you using? So, they work. I, I still haven't re-ripped that body apart. It's still held together since I put that nar bar on it. Hmm. So I thought there was going to be one when I landed, and it. It took enough of the brunt to keep it from like just fully bending over, yeah, and breaking it. It didn't even do any damage to it, so I was lucky. Yep, yep. Tony's got uh, Tony's part of the reason why I got into monster trucks. That's something I think we need to do more. So I think you need to do more monster truck stuff. I miss your monster truck content, and you're making me jealous drinking a pop on uh, on air because I'm thirsty and I can't drink that right now. I'd make you more jealous if I told you what it really was. Uh, what a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so Ghost, yeah, just there's going to be more. I've got more Monster Truck stuff coming still that I've shot and not edited like you're talking about. People don't realize how hard it is, especially those big event things to go through all of that. And then on yeah. top of, like, I was going on trips but then I come back, and so I haven't done any YouTube, and it's like I just got to do whatever I can that's quick. Yeah, going through all that footage is not quick. No, it's not. So, um, it, I just posted the one from the freaking Monster Jam drivers racing monster trucks, and I just now posted it. Yep. Almost nine months later. Yep. But there's a guy. I wanted to do it right, and if I was going to do it right, I needed to have the time. And I just never had the time this year until I was in Turkey. I edited most of it. Yeah. There, there is a guy that I watch. I don't remember his name. It's like the channel name is the name of the, the guy and he's a videographer. Uh, he does like a lot of hiking stuff and like epic hiking trips and mountain climbing stuff. And he had a really interesting video and I'm going to try to find what the name of it was. Oh, it's, it's uh, Jevin Dovey. Do you get? Do, okay. you, do you follow him? He's pretty good. He does a lot of cinematic stuff. Um, he had a video that was like nine things he learned in the last year of doing YouTube. It's one of those, you know, list. I hate the. I hate it when the YouTube like guru people call it listicle. I hate that word. It sounds so dumb. But I've never heard that. <laughs> oh. They all say, oh, a list. You watch videos. weird YouTube channels. I do. I'm trying to grow, Tony. I'm trying to grow. Listicles. Yeah. But so he was listing out all these things that he learned, and he was talking about how it's not, it's it's way less stress if you don't put any stress on yourself and you just say, I'm going to create a good video and it's going to come out when it comes out, but try to get one out a week. You know, and a bunch of other people say, try to get out, you know, three a week, try to get out X amount a week, do shorts, all that kind of stuff. He's like, just, have fun doing what you're doing. And if you have fun doing what you're doing, more will come. But if it's only one a week, then it's only one a week. And I'm kind of trying to put that, take that stress off of me a little bit. I was going to try to do two or three a week and the live. I just think that's too much for me right now. I've got too much going on, maybe in a little bit, but I haven't found my groove yet on editing and how to capture video and all that kind of stuff. So once I find that groove, It'll work. But what's in the box says, I love the cinematic kind of stuff Tony did so many times with this content. Cinematic AF. Yep. I'm all about that cinematic stuff. It was fun doing that video that I did the other day. What's yeah. a good GoPro alternative, Loki the cat says? Your phone? Yep. That's what I would say too. Depending on what phone you have. Yeah. I mean, I love the cinematic stuff. It unfortunately just doesn't get the same views for the amount of work, right? Yeah. For well, like, no, I mean, it's just straight up most of the time doesn't get as many views. Like, yeah, people want to they come to not just see something look pretty on 
YouTube, unfortunately. Like, yep. they want information. Yep. Yep. Uh, what's in the box says iPhone 14 Pro Max. I just realized all the stuff I'm shooting on is still on this phone, which is an iPhone 12 mm. Pro Max, and it's still shooting great video. The only cool thing about this is the wide angle. Does that have the wide angle? Hmm. Yeah. 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 Mine has, so mine has the three lenses on it. Yeah. Yeah. The only, only thing I don't like about this, that's a big thing to me, but everyone that I've talked to says – no one really cares are the lens flares i hate the lens flares on the iphone they drive me crazy you have to get like strategic about where you're shooting from so you don't get lens flare but those little orbs the white dots that you see on a uh they drive me crazy yeah they i, I don't know why they stick out to me but <clears throat> you know so uh, someone we talk said, about the competition stuff or not the competition. What do we have left on the list? We have racing for me, oh, yeah. which isn't that much to talk about. Um, and then the competition give the giveaway. I don't know how, okay. how those work, but so for me, racing wise, uh, I've got a race coming this weekend. I'm gonna try, so we're renting again, we're just gonna rent two cars. Um, and I'm going to try to take candy from all the kids again and podium. I don't care who they are. I'm coming for them. I'm just going to run them into the ground. I'm going to put them into the wall and I'm going to take that first place spot. <laughs> See, that's what you need for a mockumentary. You should do one about like the super competitive old dude racing against like, kids. And sweats. I'll just wear gray so sweats totally up there. Into it. Oh my God. I just watched. Um, the Napoleon Dynamite, yeah, behind the scenes, and that was some funny stuff. Like the oh, I bet. Scott, like because they knew they were making something so ridiculous, you know. Yeah, but um, yeah, Uncle Rico. Was... <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> but yeah, that'd be pretty. So, cool. what I am gonna do though is I have a couple buddies that are racing there, and one of them he's pretty good, and so I'm gonna follow him for the day uh, and running stadium truck. And so I'm going to try to sit next to him in the pits and then video that and then video him racing, see what he does, all that kind of stuff. So uh, hopefully he doesn't put too much pressure on him, but kind of make it as something fun to watch. But KLN goes, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah. So I crash in the bike. <laughs> in the air that time. Can I try? Yeah. <laughs> they made him do that like four or five times where he like slammed it into that cinder block thing. It didn't look like fun. Having yeah. Do it too. Like you normally have a stunt double. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. funny. That's funny. I think that a stunt double when it actually jumped. Uh -huh. Pedro, but not for anyway. <laughs> so yeah, Napoleon Dynamite is on YouTube. There's a behind the scenes of Napoleon Dynamite. It's all on like VHS type, like square tape, <laughs> four by three. It's fantastic. That's awesome. I, I skipped around it. I didn't just stay on it forever because it was it was as slow as the movie. Yeah. But, um, slower than the movie. I yeah. Say. Uh, yeah. So, so let's talk about. Race. It'll be a fun race. Uh, it, I, I'm excited because last time was our first time and we both did really well. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll, you know, hopefully, I hope my son, if he can get a main two, two races in a row, I'm going to be super, I mean, I'm pumped that he made it the first time. I mean, if he could do it twice, that shows that he's got something that he can do so i'm like let's do it but uh yeah we'll see what happens uh, it's definitely a lot of fun i'm going to talk more about it on this race now that i know what to expect on how the rental procedure goes and how i can just drop it maybe i'll make that as a video where i'm like taking my rental car and just throwing it at the table be like fix this pit crew and walk away <laughs> i am a driver that's I do not funny <laughs> <laughs> that's a big With misconception the... right there those guys are just like crazy <laughs> oh i know yeah for sure so 
Uh, I'm impressed. But, you guys do the drag race thing. You don't race drag race, though. You're doing the buggies and... Yeah, buggies off-road. Yeah. So we're going to be running Novice. Uh, we're doing 17.5 Novice. I think it's what it is. Um, I'm hoping to build a couple bug. I don't know if I'm going to do a, two buggies or a buggy in a stadium. I'm still trying to, I'm waiting to hear what's going to happen. Um, I know I got a short course coming soon, so I got to do that. The king and the wheel man. <laughs> so I think I showed you my son's race stickers that we got. I don't know if I have any more down here. You didn't you show me the finish. You showed me the design. Oh. Um, do I have them here? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, no, you did show me that. Yeah. Rusty parts. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So um, those are his stickers. You so should put he's... that on the rental. <laughs> I, know, I know. Just drop one. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'll tell him to do that if he wins, especially. So let's talk about these giveaways, man. Yeah, let's do that. So do you want me to talk about mine first since it's not as spectacular as yours? Sure. Or do you want me to talk about or do you want to talk about yours first? I don't no, want to take away your thunder. I kind of brought it up last week. Yeah. And so yeah, let's talk about that segment, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do. So I, I kind of have another actual idea for mine too. Okay. We'll, well see maybe what can... happens. Yeah, let's hash out some ideas because I don't really know how I'm going to do mine. I got some suggestions, some suggestions from people. Yeah, I like them. I don't, I don't know how logistical it is though. Like it's pretty tough. Okay, so here's the thing. So that U4 truck that I showed last week, I'm going to give it away, and I'm going to give it away probably at the end of this month or the beginning of next month. And all it's going to take to enter, this is where I'm having problems and questions about logistical. I want it it's to not go set in stone. It's not set in stone yet. So I want it to go to like a family or a kid that is going to get into driving crawlers. And it's technically, it could be set up for U4 racing, but it's more, I mean, I'm not going to send it. I'm basically going to send it with the, uh, with this stock, Reedy kit 16 turn with the Reedy 480X ESC. Um, yep, nice. So it's not going to be super fast, but it's going to be a good crawler. The idea I had was to have people mail, email a picture of something family RC oriented. And just by doing that, it's not a public picture. But just by doing that, it shows that you're, you know, with family or you don't even have to have kids. It's just kind of family oriented or whatever, you know, it could be with your dad or it could be with whoever. Um, but just by doing that, you'd be entered into the random draw. And then I would random pick on the show and then we'll get it out to them. So I think that's. Yeah, so Bob Price says, give it away to a little kid at the race you go to and just use it for video material. See, that's the thing. It's like <clears throat> I'm torn because you had mentioned, do you want to hold off until like your thousand subscribers celebration? And it's like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't really, I don't want to set an expectation for me giving away things all the time <laughs> because that's right. not, my channel isn't, making money and I'm, it would just be all out of my own pocket kind of stuff, which I know it is out of you, you know, you're doing stuff out of your own pocket too, but um, I don't have the bandwidth for that yet. So <laughs> I'm like, eh, let's, let's maybe wait for a little bit, but I don't want to, you know, do a big video about it or I don't know. And cause not everyone also, not everyone's cool with that. Right. Like, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I should just, Give it away on I like the channel. You have a family or something getting it somehow. Yeah. Uh, or it's kid. so it's so hard at the race because I don't know everyone there. So I don't know if someone's like not deserving of it or someone is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's like if someone gave, like if I went to a raffle, like they have raffles at these races. If I won a car at the at that raffle, I would just hand it off to a kid. Like the I mean, kid right I next think, to me. You know, I don't know how to do it. 
because you could require like them to send you a photo of them, father son out crawling together, or yeah. I think you just download one from the internet. How do you, I mean, like <laughs> the right, stock photo, <laughs> right? Just like a stock photo of, <laughs> from Axial Fest of some family driving together, and yeah, this is us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, they they Photoshop a RC controller instead of a uh, instead of a teddy bear. Yeah, like, dude, LGRC. <laughs> I'd send a fake photo. Needs to go to someone in the community with the young kid. They can't afford another. Yeah, I mean that's the best way to do it. But that's where you almost need people to submit somebody else that they would want. Like, is there a way to get people to like nominate somebody that they know of at their local crawler place that you could then work with them to send it to them? Because that would be cool. Like. There's a lot of guys that go out crawling and they know people that might be a good fit for it. Yeah. And then you get to be the awesome guy that sends them, you know. So I don't know. That that's a possibility. I like that idea. And maybe they could people nominate somebody else and kind of just tell a little bit of their story or or why they think they're deserving. And then Yeah. Well I know there's a lot of people that would love to help out somebody that they know or some of that they've seen that might be a need. Well, so okay, so if I did that though, I the hard thing about that is that it, I could I just keep it as a random draw. You could, you know what I mean? Because it's like, or you just pick based on what you think is the greatest need, and you thank everybody for submitting. That's a hard one though. Like if I put it on myself that way, like I don't think I'm going to get hundreds of of entries. Right. I'll probably get 15 to 20. Maybe more. But it's a pretty sweet rig. Yeah. But I mean who's going to hear about it? My Instagram people if I post to Instagram again cuz these people don't know I deleted it from my phone today. I sent to- <laughs> I sent Tony a video. It's like, "Are you sure you want to delete Instagram?" Delete. So, <clears throat> it's now it's only on my iPad and my computer. Um, but I'm still going to be posting there. I don't know. <clears throat> let's uh, let's think about it. Yeah, but if you guys have an, a suggestion, it'd be awesome to hear. Yeah. All right. So the fiftieth or fifty k subscriber one that I've been way delayed on. We moved, which was part of a big thing of it all, and sure. um, yeah, things were crazy. So, and the logistics of it are difficult. Oh yeah, I don't know how people run a bunch of these things. It's not in my DNA. Like I'm not a <laughs> like organizational type person. Where I love, I mean, if you looked at my desk, and people have seen my show, I'm the scatterbrained, creative oh. type that doesn't like calendars. I don't yeah. like. I miss stuff all the time. I forget, you know. But. You know, we want. I wanted to try to do it. Plus, I know that there's so much division that they bring a lot of times, and people hate it, and they yeah. say it's rigged, and they say blah blah blah. It just brings a whole lot more headaches than I want to deal with. Uh, or people just use it to grow the channel, and that's not what I want. I'm not trying to grow the right. channel. I'd rather reward the people that sure have been around. Um, so we're doing it. In fact, there's a link in the description of all these videos um, that is active. It does say that it's only for the U.S. However, mm-hmm. I'm, I've been thinking about that since I made that form. And so you guys that made it this far are going to be the only ones in the know that if you're not in the U.S., I don't think I can send an LMT. Um, there's certain places that like... Because I'm trying to order drop ship to save some. Mm-hmm. It's super expensive to ship. The LMT box, you've seen them. They're massive. Yeah, yeah. And I've shipped stuff to Australia and other places that are small. And the price is unreal. Ridiculous, yeah. Um, so what I would probably end up doing is sending something like this, which is way more easy for me to send. It can probably get it through some of the custom stuff a little bit easier because it doesn't have the same type of price tags. Uh, it's actually pretty close, but it's uh, 
hold this just to show not taped up or anything so but it's one of those oh i had one my already used one on the desk <laughs> now you're gonna have an open box special well i'm not gonna touch it but yeah uh one of these awesome fear tech almost ready to run it's missing wheels and tires that's I sick doing wheels and tires with it because i'll put this inside of a bag probably that'll ship as well into one of the bigger like padded bags uh -huh. that way they that they can still be entered yeah into it um whoa mike mick d says it costs 200 dollars to ship my phoenix to australia yeah and i just don't have that kind of cash flow right now especially yeah. after buying any of these in fact here's the one i have to fix this one yeah i kind of ran Taco. into something awesome and i only broke a little knuckle on it yeah i just gotta get new plastic knuckle for it simple fix yeah i think it's awesome though man yeah <laughs> the smoothest quick fast little 124th i've driven yet i love it that's cool uh, but i while it's out i had to steal the the receiver because i thought one of my other trucks was bad turned out it was a low battery but in the process putting this one on i ended up busting off one of the little circuit things yeah so oh I bummer another receiver bummer but anyway so, so how what do you do to enter so to enter, you just go to the link below. You have to fill in all the information except for the subscribe to newsletter. Like, I'm not trying to make it. I'm trying to make it easy on me. So that's the <laughs> other thing. Like, if I have it be, like, based on comments in here and then we randomize the comments, yeah, sucky. Then I got to find yeah. the person. You don't have to be present when we draw it. Yeah. We're going to do the drawing next week on live. Okay. We'll randomize it. I'll just spit out a spreadsheet from this software I have that's taking all this information. Yeah. It'll put them into... A list we'll do a randomized number um on a number picker thing and then that'll be the winner nice so, nice uh, i even am letting people choose if they want son of a digger grave digger king sling or bog hog Ooh. i changed it up i was only going to just do a now that will change if they're not <laughs> in stock we'll have to go with stock and all that um but uh and that's then, sweet yeah so that's that's the plan uh, but farm farm boys is saying they, he's they not 18 they can't get them in canada anyway like they're not able to be sold and all this other stuff there really so, yeah there was a whole some whole issue with canada and, like contraband huh well and so somebody just ordered baby hippo axles to go to canada you know how much shipping was on those 40 bucks oh yeah yeah to ship a little thing with a i shipped a uh uh what's it called a tube like a poster a banner tube to canada and it was like 80 bucks to ship to to um outlaws of Motorsports. and because of being a competition <clears throat> and like a poll thing you have to be 18 or whatever yeah. to enter so you gotta get your parents to do it or whatever like you yeah. can win it just have your parent sign up for it mick d says i'll pay the shipping wink wink so so <laughs> I think he's down in Australia. If he wins. Yeah, but then I have to have it shipped here, and then I have to ship it again. To Australia, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping for that to be able to just. And then I'm hoping I haven't actually talked to FureTech yet, <laughs> or anything else that would be maybe an international. I could actually pay them because they ship here all the time. They ship international from FureTech's site. Yeah. So I'm hoping that I can just work with them to ship direct from there. Sure supply if you're a tech that'd be cool if somebody wins that'd be awesome so if if they're international yeah so cross your fingers yeah <laughs> on your end yeah. <laughs> you're like please let it be someone in michigan i'll drive it personally drive it to you <laughs> north of american border they deliver it with <laughs> snowshoes. I know. That's what I thought too. I was like, well, is that on sled dog or what? Or duties on it on certain things. Like they weren't going to drop off this printer. My last one, I didn't have that happen. Yeah. Unless I paid some import duties on it. So yeah, yeah it was crazy. Uh, I sent something to O Canada RC and it was like, I think I spent $60 to ship it. And then he said it was a hundred dollars Canadian to get it out of uh, customs. And I was like, "What? 
that is like, are you having to pay the federales at that point? Like that's yeah, that's brutal. It's nuts. And it's not every package. So even when I order some of the stuff from China, one time my Mighty Handy Tools got hit with like a three hundred dollar tax on it or something dumb. Yeah. But the first time they came in, no problem. That was a bigger order because the first one sold out <laughs> way too sure. fast. So yeah. Fishbilt says, thank you, Fishbilt, by the way. It says, just want to say thank you guys for all the amazing videos and RC support. Wish you both an amazing new year. Thanks a lot, Fishbilt. That's yes, awesome. Thank dude. you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, LGRC says he needs thongs and sunscreen. Oh, it's warm there. <laughs> yeah. I have to comment on something he said earlier with the, um, yeah, I totally fake a picture or download a picture and send it in. <laughs> Um, I've been in chats and all that too. Like, so people have been asking me to sell like the the file to print off that um, the send bumper thing. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I, I've already seen people offer to send each other the night custom ones that aren't supposed to be. Yeah, for multi use, like it's for you to use. You bought it, but not to like gift your friends it or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, so they don't have to buy it because you did. Like that doesn't help him as a businessman. All that does is hurt us because he stops making stuff, then none of us get his great design yep. work. Yeah. So yep. especially because his price <clears throat> is pretty reasonable on those files. So oh dude, they're super reasonable. I think the the I mean, he is designing stuff that's for mass production, you know, the night runner, the element or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh but yeah, I think it was I think it's what 40 bucks for the whole kit or something like that. That's it's probably less than that. I don't know, but it's, it's I know for my honcho wasn't that much on yeah, yeah, whatever it is for the parts. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway. Um I think that's great. I think that's awesome. I hope people I'll I'll do a post on Instagram on my Instagram. I'll somehow make a I'll send smoke signals to it or something. Yeah. Because I'm not on my phone anymore with <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, go. Well, I go don't care if there's not a ton of entries either. Sure. Because it's like, you know, I don't. Uh, <clears throat> I like it being the people that have been here, you know. So I don't need to yeah. cast it too wide. Yeah. But okay. That's, that's I, the thing I, too. Like, I'm not yeah. even gonna go posting everywhere and give away this. I'll do a video on YouTube. Um. Maybe on Instagram because we hit fifty thousand there too. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, Good work. Maybe it's a dual 50,000. There you yeah. go. Money's Way definitely to spin tighter. It. I wish I'd have done it when I first hit 50K because I had a lot more income streams at that point. Sure. It is what it is, and I said I was going to do it, and I want to keep my word on it. Yeah. Now I hear you. Do it. Now's the time before we find out how – how much I have to find other work or if I can kind of make this work. Yeah. So right on. Well, yeah. I'm thinking more about my giveaway thing. And I think, I don't know how to do this, man. Cause I, I want it to be open for local people. I was going to take it to the track this weekend and just have it on a table or something like that. But I don't know. I don't know how to how to make it like should it I mean how do I how do I ensure that it goes to that type of end user or do I not even care about it and just give it away My intent is for it to grow the RC hobby family friendly Yeah but I don't know how <clears throat> I can really dial that in without like people doing what you're saying take him take stop. advantage of it yeah you're never gonna know for sure sure um unless you're at an event and you hand it to a kid like if you went to a big crawling meetup or something and did something with it there where the kids were entered for it or whatever but yeah see there's a lot of kids that are at the races <clears throat> but I don't know. That's the You'd problem. have to end up at like a 
well, what is it? It's an element, so you'd have to end up at like a pro line by the fire. Well, I mean, the race that I'm at is sponsored by Associated. Okay. So it's no big deal for me to give it away there. It's just a matter of like maybe have people call in and donate to their local RC shop. Ah, see, I don't want to take people's money. I just want to give it to them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. donations are nice, but I do that later in the year. Like, and I'll do that when I do another 30 miles in 30 days for I'll do, I'll probably do that St. Jude thing again this year. Um, so, and that's, I like doing that one. So, but yeah, I got, I just want to figure out a way to like get it in the right people's hands. But I think, you know, I think that's the thing. I think maybe just XJ saying right in. Uh, more people to talk about it, more bad actors. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think the picture thing too, like, Honestly, me, I probably wouldn't send a picture of me and my kid crawling to anyone. Even if you knew, as I mean, if they're following you on YouTube and they know you're reputable for it, I mean, people do that kind of stuff all the time. One thing you have to sign off is a agreement. Well, because people use it to to also show who won it. You know, like later if they wanted right. the photo, right. I don't, again, I don't want to do any of that with this. And that's why I'm not even saying you have to subscribe to any of my channels. Like for this right. giveaway, it's just like, right. yeah, that was not subscribe. Like if you didn't know I had a website, <clears throat> I want to subscribe for like news. And usually if there's a new product, I'll send out a little email or whatever. If there's a sale, I, I might send out an email, but I don't spam people. I yeah. think I've sent out <clears throat> three emails in the year, something like that this whole year. Yeah. So it's not a bunch. Yeah. That I've personally said. Now the site will automatically. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that the first time it was like, Tell "Hey, you, you... you left something in your yeah, cart." Yeah, yeah. There's like, "Hey, you left something <laughs> in the CCXRC cart." I was like, "Wow, Tony, yeah. I get it." Okay. So I have to remember that when I say that I'm not going to spam you. The site itself may be smarter than I am about the whole thing. Yeah. Like going after people because that's not my thing. I'm not a salesman. I I hate sales. Yeah. I hate buying like cars. I hate yeah. selling stuff to people because. I'm not a salesman, so okay. that's why I end up with all of them still because yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh I don't know who just said if it was ghost or <laughs> Brian so... Kushner. <laughs> oh, oh and it says I can see this whole giveaway is stressing you, Tony. Just go ahead and send it though. <laughs> Breathe easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I like your idea about um recommending someone yeah so i'm gonna say they can dm me or email me and we'll put the email down at the bottom and i have a question about that to you because i don't know how how does youtube th handle your email link because i put email on my thing but I was talking to a guy. And he Nobody said, sees it. They can send you a message, but it doesn't let people. So I use the about one. Yeah. I thought that's what I had yeah. on mine too, but someone was saying they couldn't find it. And you I'm have like, to go to the person's channel. Right. And then, and about. then you go to about, and then you say. Mine doesn't show up on it when I go to my about. For business inquiries. Well, you got to go to somebody else's. All right. So let me do yours. Why was okay. I going to mine? Okay, go to mine so you can see if it if it does that. But that's what I'm going to do. Send me a message on YouTube and suggest someone that you know that doesn't have the means to get into RC crawling or is a has a family that wants to get that maybe their kids would benefit from RC crawling. Yeah, it totally shows your email. Does it? So it says for business inquiries view Okay. Email. And then you have to hit I'm not a robot. Okay. Submit. And then it shows your email. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so go to their about page and then go to the details. It says for business inquiries. Yeah. This is a business inquiry. Yep. And I'm going to I'm gonna cap this as just being shipped in the lower 48. I it's a used truck. I don't want to deal with trying to get it through customs or anything like that. And 
for a used truck. So sorry about it, guys. <laughs> I can't ship it across the pond. Uh, yeah. I'd, I'd love to, but I, that's too. <clears throat> I don't know if I would say it's not worth it because it's a used truck, but that's a lot of money to ship a used truck across the water. Right. But if you know someone that's in the States and you want to, and you want to maybe do a friend or whatever, what about RC Amigo father and son truck in conjunction with 11 Charlie? They do a lot of new stuff now though. Like most of those builds are pretty new. The 11 Charlie stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I've, I've built, I plan, I plan on probably doing an 11 Charlie one later this year. Um, I built one for them last year, so this year I'll probably do another one. But uh, it won't be as good as your Lazarus, otherwise you'd sell that to me, <laughs> knowing that you have the ability to build one that's as good or better. These all washed up people, so it'll yeah, be, it's, it'll be just under the the um, the awesomeness of Lazarus. It, it was funny. Andre was giving me a hard time. He was like, "So I've never seen the Lazarus and the Frankenwagen side by side." He's like, "Does it is it really?" Two trucks, or is it just one truck switched back and forth? <laughs> I was like, no, there's two trucks. So, <clears throat> yes. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the description. Email me at the about page. Someone you think that needs to get it, or someone that's a family that could benefit from having another crawler for their kids. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. And the other one is live starting. Well, I did it probably this morning, but <clears throat> the link is now live, <laughs> and there's a quite a few people signing it. I just told it to mute it for now for today. Nice. I'm going to have to keep nice. doing mute that app, but I normally like it because it tells me when I get an order. Yeah. Because even though I say that it's like not my thing, you know, it's, it's not my priority, the whole store thing, um, I've always made it a priority if I'm here. Like, I just sure. get it yeah. done, like stop and package it and have it ready for tomorrow or Usually, if an order comes in before noon, I don't go to the post office till lunch, and then uh, if it comes in and even in the morning, I'll usually get it out that same day. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I know you're uh, crazy good about that. I'm terrible yeah. about shipping stuff. I well, was... once you have it set up, dude, like my setup is now like everything here, all my packing stuff here, a label maker. It all goes from my site into Shippo. And it takes care of it. That's why I wanted all the addresses pre-done. Shippo. So enter it into Shippo. <laughs> yep. yep. And I'll go through the whole process I do for the store. And it's just like, knock it out. Yep. But yeah, I hated it. But now that everything's already pre-labeled for weights and all that. Yeah. It's so easy for me. But yeah. That's nicely said, Ghost. He says, I love this community. It gives me faith in humanity and how we help each other and take care of each other. Yeah. Very nicely said. What's in the box says. So, yeah, man. So we try to promote, especially within this hobby. And we know that you got to be careful because not everybody in this hobby is for that. I would say 95%. There were times I would have said 99%. Yeah, more about the 95%. And that may even be generous. <laughs> but there's a good number of people who mean well in the yeah. hobby. So that I that you know the right reason. <laughs> that was my concern is that I'm giving away a used truck and I'm like, it's a used truck. Like I want everyone to know it's a used truck, all that kind of stuff. You know, you're technically you're cursing someone to proverb <laughs> by getting them into RC. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, sorry. That's what yeah. happens. Yeah. Um, that's actually another topic for the podcast is, yeah. uh, just because they're small doesn't mean they're cheap. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people freak out when they see the price of some of this fear tech stuff. I'm like, you're not buying stock rigs, people. Like, no, it's totally worth custom it. Custom titanium welded. My, so my neighbor got a mini, a SEX 24 when they first came out and he hated it. Right. He was like, this is lame. And that's before all the Fear Tech came stuff came out. Yeah. And I got one too. And it sat in my desk forever because I was like, meh. And then once I got the Fear Tech stuff on there, and you know, and, and now Mofo and you and all these other people have stuff for it. It has just, you know, little guy racing. It's just made those vehicles so much more 
drivable and yep. so much more fun. I would agree that they're a lot of fun. It's just not a hundred percent my my thing. Like yeah, you know, like, the, the such awesome beauty around you. To, we're pretty flat here. Like yeah, ten scale. I loved it when I had that park to go to in yeah. different places in Virginia. Yeah. I have not found a spot here yet where I'm like, this is awesome. Yeah. There's a, there are some trails in Muskegon about an hour away that I'm interested in going to. Yeah. Um, on the bluffs to Lake Michigan. Yep. Um, so we'll see if we get kicked out of there. It's State park and all that, but uh, I never get kicked out. I'm <clears throat> yeah. pretty, I'm pretty good Usually about it. Like, empty. Well, that, and like, you know, people are more intrigued than anything yeah. else. And especially if you're walking behind it, if you've got a family, it's even more so. Like, you know, yeah. if me and my kid are out there wheeling behind it. Can uh, you not being destructive with them? No. And like see maybe with some of the bachelors <clears throat> wanting to like oh yeah. Not destroy stuff, but yeah. Well, and the other thing is like when there's dogs on the trail, my kid and I, we pull off to the side and we stop and we let the dogs yeah. go. And then the yeah. dogs get past and we keep on going. Like yeah, except the dogs get running, you don't know if it's a attack it and kill it dog or <laughs> yeah. my brother's dog's an attack and kill a dog oh wow that's <clears throat> yeah. funny. my cats are like every time i fire up the little ones down here like he's just down here he wasn't i don't know where he was but he heard that little motor hum yeah he's down here watching <laughs> but yeah you gotta teach him how to drive he'd love it yeah well let's wrap this up people know now we waited to the end of course and yep. you, you might stick around to find out how to enter yep. but yeah so it's for an lmt for the initial one yeah and then with pablo's it's that awesome u4 crawler u4 crawler yeah basically a ecto base crawler yeah with a cage with a wicked cage wrap yeah. looks awesome it's pretty cool so so yeah just uh and the email just suggest who you want, who you think would be deserving of it. Someone that maybe needs help with getting into RC or maybe someone with kids. Yeah. That's it. And then it'll be a, a random draw. Cool. Yep. All right. Any, anything Thank you else? Guys. Happy New Year to y'all. Happy New Year. Stay safe. All that kind of stuff. We won't Keep... be staying classy. <laughs> But I will be shooting you in the junk with a BB gun. <laughs> Just got to do it. See you guys. Later. Hit the button.